Prince William and Kate Middleton feel betrayed by Prince Harry and don't speak to him. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Prince Harry will visit the UK next week to attend the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games, and Prince William and Kate Middleton reportedly have no intention of seeing him. Both sides clearly understand each other's position now, a friend of the royal couple told the Daily Beast. William and Catherine felt completely betrayed by Harry's memoir, Spare. They are not speaking to Harry and Meghan, and they are certainly not about to start when Catherine is at her most vulnerable. Meanwhile, another friend says Prince William has no problem with his father, King Charles, trying to reunite him with Prince Harry, he's not personally interested in mending relations at this point in the years-long drama. Harry, is just another guy who sold his story to the tabloids, the insider explains. The get well soon message is neither here nor there. But the whole situation no longer takes up a lot of their mental energy. William and Kate have accepted it and moved on. Cancer is putting things into perspective. William respects his father's desire to reconcile with his son, but his focus now is he focuses on protecting his family from stressful situations. Just FYI, Duchess Meghan Markle is not scheduled to return to the UK with Prince Harry, there has been speculation about whether or not she will make the trip, but she will reportedly join him in Nigeria for another Invictus event. After. Princess Charlotte always seems very modest and polite in public, but actually I think she has those things at first, but she kind of looks around. And then she shows some of her true personality, which I think is a confident girl with a great sense of fun. She is by no means a tomboy, but she really enjoys adventure activities and outdoor sports just like her brothers. She's very athletic, going by the backstories her parents have told, and she's surrounded by really positive female role models like her mother, her grandmother Carol and her aunt Pippa. They're strong, working women who have combined their careers with being great mums too. I think she's a well-rounded little girl. Although she is still less than a decade old, Princess Charlotte is already a part of history. The rules of primogeniture, which historically saw any female heir ousted if a younger brother was born, were changed in the succession to the Crown Act 2013, meaning any younger brother born after this date can no longer outrank his older sister. I think we will be in a very modern era when the time comes. I wonder if Charlotte wants to hold more titles. She might be a working woman by then. Things can change a lot in the next generation, says Jenny. The natural choice for me is that she might become the Princess Royal. This is the more traditional path for an eldest daughter. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video.